All right, now if we hit play, you see that we have the black bars and we can't see the boot right on the left. All right, if I try on a smaller scale, hit play, you can see that now we have the black bars on top and bottom and it still works. Hi, I'm Ricky, today we're on the 31st episode of the Ender Scenario series and today we make a camera adjuster to resize our game accordingly to any resolution. We'll use a script that I found online, which is gonna change a little bit of the values. Of course, there is a link in the description to the original author's post. I'm mostly gonna show you how to implement this system. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna start by making a new scene so I can show you how it works and we're gonna implement it to actual game later. In here, I'm just gonna add some random sprites and UIs at the corners or the screen to show you what's going on. All right, then you can see that I have a display with 360, 725. So I'm also gonna set the canvas to that size. And now if you use free aspects, you see that our canvas resizes accordingly, but you can see that the sprites are actually getting in and out of the screen. And that's what we want to avoid. I'm gonna set it back to the full resolution. And now in our camera, let's make a new component called camera adjuster. In here, let's make a new public function to adjust the size of the screen. And now if you go in the description of the video, you find a link to the post I was talking about. Here it is. Now we just need to get this code. Hit copy, Visual Studio, and paste. So what's going on here? So first we get the target ratio that we want. So in this case, the default is 69. If we want to change this, we just change these values. So I'm actually gonna make two new variables and use them here instead. So we set the desired aspect ratio and the comments also tells you to make two public value results. All right. Then we get these values and we calculated the proportion by simply dividing them. Now you can see that the screen width and screen height are int values and we're using a float cast to divide them. The IDE tells you that this is not necessary. You can see that it's slightly grayed out, but if you remove this cast, it's not gonna work. So I'm actually gonna add a comment in here. And now we get the proportion of our current screen. Now we simply make a scaled value telling us uh, the difference between the resolution that we want and the resolution that we currently have. And then we use this for, for our calculations. Before we go any further, let me actually change these values. All right, better. Now we get the camera component and in here we use get component camera. So we need to put this component on the camera to game object. But I think we can just do camera.main and we're gonna achieve the same effect, but this way we are sure we're gonna affect the main camera only, and we don't have to put this script on the camera game object. Let me also rename this. All right, so we get our camera component, and now with our scale height value, we just change the camera's rect. The camera's rect is basically the black bars that appear on the screen on the side or on the top and bottom part. So we just take that rect and apply it to the camera. And that's it. Now we just need to call this function. So I'm gonna add a start method. But you can also call this function whenever you want and simply change these values to fit a specific resolution. If you go to Unity, now we just need to change these values. You can see that I'm using the same ones that I have here and also the same one that I have in my canvas. And now if I set the display to free aspect, so we simulate a bigger screen, we see that we added the black bars to the screen, so our camera size is the same as 360 75. One problem that we have though is that our canvas objects are not scaled appropriately. So let's close, and in our canvas, let's change the render mode from screen space overlay to screen space camera. Then we need to fit add a source or main camera. And that's it. Hit play. And our canvas is also resized correctly. By changing the screen space to camera, what we're doing is resizing the entire canvas so it actually renders whatever the camera is currently looking at. Basically, instead of having the UI on top of the game, on top of everything else, we're putting the UI on the same layer as the sprites and the models. By doing this, you have to tell it which camera to look at. And you also have the side effect of having things rendered at the same level of your sprites. So what's happening is this. If you look at, this is an image in the canvas. It should uh, render on top of everything, 
but because we have the screen space camera, if I move it, you see that it goes behind a sprite, which never happens with a normal canvas. To fix this, it's really simple. We just go in our canvas and we just change it to a certain layer. If you don't have one, you don't have another layer, we just do add certain layer and we just make a new UI layer and make sure that it's down compared to the fold. Now, if you go to canvas, we set the certain layer to UI and now the UI is properly rendered on top of the sprites. Now let's go back to 360 75, which is our normal resolution. All right, I'm gonna put this in the bottom right corner like before. And now it doesn't matter which resolution we use, our objects are gonna be in this exact same scheme. So I'm gonna make it like this, free aspect, hit play, and goes back to normal. If I close and make it even thinner, it also works, perfect. And right now, if we try to resize the camera while playing, it doesn't work because we're only calling that method on start. But if we want, we can go back to Visual Studio and put this adjust camera size on update. All right, so now we just need to implement the system in our scenes. So we just go one by one in our scenes and we see where we need to put the system. So in our scene manager, we don't have anything. So we don't need to put the system. Let me go back to the normal display. And scene number zero one, we have only UI elements. So we don't need to put a camera adjuster. Our camera is only rendering the canvas. Scene zero two, we have both UI and sprite elements. So we do need our camera. If I have a boot, like here, let me put back the normal resolution. If I put a boot right here, it's not visible normally, but if I put free aspect, so if I have a bigger screen, now I can see the boot and I don't want it. So in our main camera, let's add camera adjuster, put the resolution, go in the canvas, set it to screen space camera, fit it to the main camera and set the correct layer. All right, now if we hit play, you see that we have the black bars and we can't see the boot right on the left, right? If I try on a smaller scale, hit play, you can see that now we have the black bars on top and bottom and it still works. Very nice. Close, finally let's go to the level and let's do the same thing here because we have both UI and sprite elements. Hit play. The UI resize is nicely and done. If you actually play the game, you can see that it still works. Well, sometimes you get a weird bug when we try to resize the camera too often, but this won't happen if you just call it once, right at the start. So in our script, let's change this update to start. No, I put it to update just to show you that it was working. All right, so that's it for this episode. Very short one, but also really important. I myself have had a lot of troubles with adjusting the camera size and having found this script online made my life a lot easier. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any suggestion about the next topic I'd like to see. Also, if you have any doubts about the code or how to implement it, do ask in the comments. All right, I'll see you in the next video.